Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Smart. And uh, I've done several videos recently on the Neato Bot Back series, and uh, I thought I would go over a thorough cleaning on it. Now, I have Siberian Huskies, so I get a lot of hair. I have three uh, girls with long hair that live in my house, so I get a lot of hair wrap on the actual brush. So, um, I tried not to clean it the last, uh, not thoroughly clean it at least the last couple times I did it. So there's not a whole bunch of hair in there, but there's definitely hair, a lot of hair on the, on the brush. Well, it ran last night, and so the bin is is actually overflowing to be honest, because I let it run in the areas that I hadn't cleaned for a couple days. So uh, I haven't really cleaned it. It's definitely dusty, and I'm gonna bring the video in a little bit better. I have a box here basically where I can dump the stuff um, as we clean it. So you want to see what mine looks like? Here we go. Okay, so first thing first is the bin itself. We're gonna to wanna to empty the bin. So I just lift up here, that's how I get to the bin. Uh, and you can see that not only is there stuff in here, there's actually stuff that's didn't quite make it into the bin because I overflowed it. So I'm just gonna take this, the filter here, I'm just gonna pinch here to open the filter, this, and this will take the filter out. And then we're just gonna dump this in the bin. Uh, we'll come back to that part here shortly. Uh, my filter, which is actually still the original filter, um, I'm ready, getting ready to place it. You can see how it kind of actually broke loose. So it didn't all the way break loose at first. It actually was just a corner, but then it started getting dust and, and, and hair in there. So I actually broke it all loose. This is kind of just a pre-filter anyway. So now I get stuff that's built up in here. Not regular. This would not regularly happen, but if you do notice it, um, I tended to actually broke, break this all the way open so I could get rid of it, which just shake it out and then we're good to go. It does. It keeps most of the hair out. Most of the hair just gets trapped against the, the screen. And this is designed, it's not supposed to do this, but mine did break loose. So this is a replaceable filter and when you're gonna replace it. So now we're gonna actually flip the unit over. Uh, and in my other video, I just kinda just pulled the hair out, right? Well, in this one, um, first we're gonna remove that. That just pops off, that's the actual side brush. But then if you actually pull right here, just lift, actually takes the front of the, or the, the piece that actually is holding everything in place off, and then you can just lift the brush out and really fully get all of the hair out of this. You'll get hair build up here. You'll get hair kind of build up between the, uh, the end here, and this is kind of the harder spot, but then you can actually work on getting this out a lot easier. Uh, same thing goes on the motor. Sometimes that eh, didn't happen this time. I'll get hair built up around the actual motor here between the motor and the and the end here And then you can just kind of pull it off and just get rid of that So you can see where there's stuff that's kind of jammed in spots that you don't normally see This is obviously the, that tuft of hair that you can see there And uh, and then once you get this all cleaned out now They do come with a comb where you can kind of comb out like you can see where there's a lot of Mil uh, hair that's or dust and stuff that's actually built up into the brush itself so we can technically actually comb that out as well so this is the actual comb like I said that it comes with it does actually have a, a kind of a hair scraper as well so if you had stuff that was wound around it you can gra grab it and it'll actually cut it uh, but this you can actually use to kind of pull stuff out of the bristles you can see there uh, and just makes it fully opened again so you can you know this is something that I, I literally have not done yet uh you know pulling all, as much of this out this is not something that you're going to do every time that you clean the vacuum but maybe once a month maybe the time that you'd actually go to uh, clean the filter this would be the time to actually do this now you're going to get or you're, you're going to get dusty no matter what you do you're going to get you know lint and stuff on your hands so if you're really a, kind of a germaphobe or you don't like touching this kind of stuff um maybe Leave it to somebody in your household that is okay with it. Or just when you're done, obviously go ahead and just clean your hands. Uh, but yes, you will be touching hair and you'll be touching dust and lint and all sorts of various things. But this does actually, you know, kind of revitalize the brush. Um, so you don't have to replace the brush probably quite as frequently. So if you maintain the brush, it just works better um, in the end. So you can see just how much hair and stuff I actually just on the brush alone let alone the stuff I'm gonna here just pull off so um, the hardest part I found isn't so much this part of at least so far this is the first like I said the first time I actually using the brush um, which actually works pretty good to be honest um, but the hardest part I've done this this is the second time I've done this is getting the hair kind of out of here now last time I did it I probably got 80% of it which I felt was more than enough to be honest um, 
but there's always going to be probably something. Well, there's actually not a piece of hair. That's actually a piece of something. Synthetic. But as long as that is spinning freely and decently, I mean, that's what we're looking for. We're making sure that everything spins properly. Uh, so there's, you know, there's still definitely some hair down in there. And I'm just going to work on this a little bit longer to get as much of this out as possible before I put it back. And then we're going to clean that up as well. So now we're, I'm just going to clean the machine up a little bit. I just have a cloth here that gets most of the dust at least out of it so it's clean. Uh, if I have actually ran over where there was a, a damp spot in the carpet where I had you know, to clean up for my dogs where he, they peed or vomited or whatever it was. And uh, what you'll find is you'll, it'll maybe get a little caking right here. I, actually a little bit right there still. That's something that you want to keep an eye on. So if you ever hit, hit something where it was damp, uh, you'll get dust that actually cakes. Uh, it was caked here and it was caked back here a little bit. Actually, a little bit back there. Yeah, so you can kind of see it there where it kind of cakes a little bit. You know, so you, wanna, you just want to clean that so that the dust doesn't stick to it. That it just kind of ramps right back up into the bin. Which, there we go. So just quick and easy. I mean, we're not going for thorough cleaning here. I mean, but this is, I guess, a little more thorough than typical. Uh, but just make sure that everything is up to date and running good. Um, when you put the brush head back in, you'll see this little... Uh, tab this tab points toward the wheel on this side but you do put it on the motor side first and then just drop it in uh, that's it and then this should hook on the front and then just snap in the back and that's it I mean it's just that simple and then we put the, the side brush back on this is another brush that you'll replace you'll probably replace this almost at every filter uh, and these most of the ones where you can find you can find where they give the filter and the brush available for it as well and then if we actually flip over, I'm going to go ahead and dust the bin out here because you do, you do tend to get dust build up in here um, just from emptying the bin because obviously things will fall down. Uh, so just make sure that everything's fairly clean. You know, you're not looking to make it spotless. Uh, but if you're going to do a thorough cleaning, you might as well do a decent job. And then over on the bin side itself, so the filter, this is one of those things that I like to take outside and, and just kind of beat out. Uh, until no more dust comes out of it. Um, I don't like doing that in the house because you're just putting dust back into the air. So that I would do outside. Uh, so, but I'm not going to go outside with that right now. This, you know, I'm just going to knock it out. Thorough cleaning time is when I actually just go ahead and dust the bin itself. Just clean up the bin the best I can. Um, so it's back to fairly fresh. Um, get the microscopic dust that's in here uh, on my rag here. And clean the whole thing. You know, again, I'm not going for spotless. I'm just going to, to clean it up. And this is something that, like I they said, this is the, probably the second time I've actually cleaned the bin. Uh, otherwise, I just let it go. And then you'll also have caking here if there's any actual wet carpet there. So that's where it kind of hits. So just check those spots. Um, and then when you put the filter back on, I'm just going to stick this, this filter back on. Hooks on the back side. Push it. And then back to the vacuum. And now we are actually set to go for more cleaning rounds. So the, the first time I did that, this more thorough cleaning, and this is like I said, the second time I've done it, I didn't use the brush. The second time I used the brush, this thing is awesome. It's just a handy little tool. And obviously if you don't have this one, you can just grab a comb or something like that from wherever. A cheap comb would work just fine. But the size of this is actually about perfect. And the nice thing is, is if you do have the, that hair that kind of gets tangled, that little uh, cutting tool on the backside, uh, is handy. I, I gotta give them that. So, uh, good job. They actually like this comes with the unit. So definitely hold on to that. That's that's a handy little guy. But um, hopefully that gives you some insight of a real quick and easy way to thoroughly clean this. In total, you know, two, uh, three to five minutes, and it's back up to basically how you bought it, almost new with slight dust left in there. But the brush head's good to go. Uh, that brush head should last you probably six months. So as long as you maintain it. Uh, and it's going to clean like it did the day you bought it until you get towards that six month window. Um, you'll notice probably when the, brussel, the bristles start um, curving on it, like on the side brush here, uh, you'll, you'll, you should notice things like that. And that's probably what I would, I would keep an eye out for. Oops. Um, but that said, guys, hopefully that this little tutorial, this little video helps you out if you're, if you're wondering how, the proper way to clean your Neato vacuum. At least this is the way that I clean mine. And with the brush, I'm definitely going to do it from that, that way from here on out. So. That said, thanks for watching. We'll see you on another video.